Hi friends, in today's lecture, we will study how to make this beautiful crane hook in AutoCAD. So first thing which I will do is I will turn on the dimensions layer so that you can take a look at the dimensions. Now whenever you want to draw such kind of project, the first thing which we will do, we will use a top down approach. We will start from the top and go on extending the project till the bottom. So let us see what we have to do at the top. So you can see we will first begin construction of this part, then we will construct this part, then we will construct this and finally we will construct the hook with all the radius. So we will start with this part. So we will first draw one line of 16 units. So we will pan the drawing a bit to the left and over here I will type the line command and I will draw one line from here of 16 units and hit enter. So our first part is complete. Now if you see over here this line which you can see is of two units at an angle of 45 degrees. So obviously this line will be two units at an angle of 180 minus 45 that is 135. So we will draw these two lines now. So we will pack the drawing a bit to the left and I will type line from end of this, I want to draw a line of 2 units at the angle of 45 degrees and hit end. Again, end. same way, I will draw another line from here of 2 units at the angle of 135 and hit end. And then we will join these two lines. So we'll join from year to year and hit end. So the first part, the top part of the crane hook is ready. Now we have to draw these two lines of 15 units. So again we come here and we draw line from end of this and we extend it down 15 units. And we take it to the right 16 units and we go on the top and close it. We will double check with the help of the dimensions. So from year to year it is top of 50. And this is 16. Erase the dimensions. Hit end. So the upper part of the crane hook is ready. Now we have to draw this part of the crane hook. So let us see how we will draw this part. So first thing which you have to understand is the distance from year to year. So if I use the dimensioning and we draw one dimension point from year to year, it is 12 units. Again from year it is 12 units. Like this. So, I will just move this to, to dimension layer to avoid confusion. So, this line is of 12 units and this line is also of 12 units. So, what we will do, we will draw one center line 
which extends from mid of this and we will drag it up to the bottom hit enter and then we will draw one line from this point extend it to 12 units hit enter then we will erase this line hit enter and then we will draw another line from the end of this 12 units hit enter now you will see this distance is 4 units so we will offset these lines these two lines at 4 units so offset offset distance is 4 units select the object to offset side to offset object to offset side to offset hit enter finally we have to draw these two curves so that we will draw it using the two point circle so we will come here and in the circle we will select two point circle first point is this second point is this again circle we will select two point first point is this and second point is this then we trim the inner part by selecting trim and we erase this and this and so the top part of the crane hook is now ready now we have to draw the actual hook so first thing which we will do is we will offset this line at 36 units you can see it is 36 unit this line we will offset it at 36 units and this we are doing why so that we get this center point and we are able to draw this first circle of radius 15 so let's begin by offsetting at 36 units so i will type offset and i give the offset distance as 36 select the object to offset side to offset object to offset and side to offset and then I hit enter and then I put one point at the center of this <coughs> then we will extend this line a bit to the left so I will draw one vertical line like this and I will extend this line like this. Now using this as the center point, I want to draw a circle of radius 15. So I will select circle, center radius, I give this as the center and radius is 15. So this inner circle which you can see I have highlighted now we have finished the one ok however you can see we need only a portion of that circle so let me show you how we can get it. so first we will go on the top and you can see that we have one small circle drawn over here of radius 4 so what we will do We we'll draw one line from end of this at the bottom four units and hit enter and then we'll select circle center radius this is the center point this is the radius and we get this part now in order to uh, get this curve whose radius is 22 what we will do, we want this curve, so we will draw one another circle 
which will be tangential to this circle tangential to this circle and radius will be 22 so I come to circle and select tangential uh, tangent tangent radius so tangential to this tangential to this and radius is 22 hit end so we have drawn this part radius 22 and now to get it we have to trim the unwanted portion so I will trim I don't need this portion and I don't need this portion, this portion, and this portion, and this portion. So, we have got constructed this part of the hook up to here. Now, we will start making this part. So, here you can see the distance is 30. Two. So we'll draw, we'll offset this line at 32 units. Now I type offset, offset distance is 32. Select the object to offset and start to offset. We don't need this line, so we just erase it. And we don't need this extra part, so we'll break it. First point is intersection of this, second point is. So we have offset this to 32 units. Now you can see this distance is 10 units. So we'll draw, we'll offset this line to 10 units. So we come here and again we type offset and we give the offset distance as 10. Object to offset and side to offset. End. Now this gives us this point over here and for that point you can see the radius is 3. So we come to our drawing and we select circle center radius. This is the center point and radius is 3 and hit it. So we have finished drawing this circle of T radius. Now we have to draw this part which is of radius 38. So again we use tangent tangent radius. So we select circle tangent to this tangent to this and radius is 38 and hit enter. So we get this part of 38 units. Now we delete the unwanted part. So we will type the temp command, hit enter. We don't need this part and we don't need this part. So we have finished this. Now we have to draw this circle which is of 10 units distance. But before we draw this circle, we will draw this circle which is of radius 35. So you can see we will have to offset this line at 5 units because that is the center point of this. So again, I will type offset, I'll hit enter, offset distance is 5, 
object to offset, side to offset, object to offset, side to offset. We drew these two lines of five by eight. Escape. Now we will draw this circle of 35 radius. So using this this as the center point. So circle, center radius. This is the center point and radius is 35. Hit enter. So we have got this big circle this outer circle and now we can proceed with drawing this circle again we use tangent tangent radius and the radius this time will be 20 so we come here again we select circle tangent tangent radius tangential to this tangential to this radius is 20 units hit it now we trim the extra parts which we don't need. We don't need this part. We don't need this part. We don't need this part. Now we have to draw this circle which is of radius 30 and that starts from this center point. So, okay and over here also we don't need this part so we will trim this part. And here also we don't need this part. This part this part and this part. Now we have to draw this circle of 30 radius and center point is this. So we come here and we select circle. And we select center radius. Center point is this. Radius is 30 and hit enter. So we got this circle of 30 units. This is the circle. Now we don't need this outer part because if you see this 31 is the, the circle with radius 30 is what we desire. So we'll trim the extra part. So I will type trim to trim off the extra part. The extra part. And so we got this area. And now we want to draw a circle of radius 7. So again, we will use tangential to this, tangential to this, and radius 7. So we will come here, we will select circle, tangent, tangent, radius, tangential to this, tangential to this, and radius is 7. Now we will trim off the extra area by typing trim. And we don't need this area. We don't need this area. Also, we don't need this part, this part, this part. And your crane hook is now ready. So we'll just delete the ones lines which we don't need so we erase this line this line this line this line. it so friends 
in this video you have studied how to make this beautiful crane hook hope you have learned something new in this video if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe and we'll see you again in the next video till that time goodbye